Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Liz from MZ Ephemera. Um, today it doesn't seem like I've got any uh, vo uh, voice issues, which is really nice. Um, so I've had a, a really good week um, in the shop, um, which I'm very, very grateful to. So thank you everyone who shopped with me. This um, The other week I spotted one of the ladies that I follow. She's from uh, Auckland. Um, her name is Vintage Grace Studio. Her name is Tanya, and uh, so she's Vintage Grace Studio on um, Instagram. And she was busy prepping for a big craft fair uh, locally to them. And I thought, you know what? Um, because I'm a little bit flush with cash in the shop, I wanted to just buy in some ephemera from, uh, you know, a fellow crafter, um, not specifically in the UK. So I've had Tanya do up a parcel for me for um, for about, I would say, oh, I forget how much. Um, I asked her to put stuff together for me for about, I think, 40 New Zealand dollars. Um, and this morning the parcel has arrived and I've not actually looked to see what she sent me. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a unveil to share with you what I got if I can actually get it out of the past. Oh my gosh. Look at this lace. It is stunning. Oh, I am really, really pleased with that. And there's some more. Oh, I like this. Oh, look how lovely they are. I think they can get scanned and I can do some stickers from them. Oh, great, superb images there. I like this, I like this a lot. Let me add that over there. So I don't know what's in this little parcel, let's have a look. Let me move that aside. I know that she messaged me to tell me that um, she's really sorry. She forgot to actually include, um, you know, a little thank you note. <laughs> and to be honest, that's that's completely okay. Oh my days. Okay, so this is actually something that I just asked for, ask her to send me, um, because I spotted them when she was doing them. Tanya, these are adorable. I love them, I love them. So I'll put that aside. Oh, some great clock faces. I mean, they will just go great in my journals um, for myself, as well as journals for the shop. They look great, lovely. Oh, and then these, this is fabric washi. So I'm really, really keen to, to give this a try. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, look. And of course now I'm going to struggle to try and get it off. But I almost had it. But anyway, you can see what it is. This fabric on a sticky backing. Very clever. I like that. That's great for collaging. Ooh, vintage, vintage tickets. I like it. I like it. I mean, if you're like anyone else in the uh, journaling community, you are going to absolutely love these vintage tickets. And they also smell vintage. You can smell them. You know, it's got that uh, vanilla smell of um, old paper. 
these are vintage stickers. I think what she cleverly had done here is probably cut them out and created them from vintage magazines and just backed them onto double-sided sticker tape. Onto, what am I saying? Double-sided sticker sheets, which is really, really clever. I'm so looking forward to using these. Ah, deliciousness, deliciousness. How cool are these? Back in the analog days, when we had, you know, negatives, actual negatives, how they are just, I love them. I love them. These are delicious, yummy, I'm very pleased. Put that aside, and then this is all the goodies that I asked her to put together for me. Um, and you know, not being funny, but a whole wedge of stuff like this, which is paper, there's doilies in here. There's the little tag for 12 New Zealand dollars. That is not a bad price at all. At all. Right. Oh my gosh. Liz, what am I doing? There we go. This is a clever way to do the wrap. I like it. Clever Tanya, very clever. So it's a long strip that she cut to look like a tag on either side with a reinforced little hole over there and then just, I like it. Missy, I like it, you clever thing. I think the easiest way is just going to be to cut it. I don't want to um, damage what's you know inside. I love this idea. This is so clever, Tanya. So clever. Great use of a file folder. Also, how cute are the little birds? Deliciousness, deliciousness. This is, this is beautiful. Oh, tiny dictionary pages. You might catch a bat. I like it. Again, you can just smell the, um, the what is it called? Is it lemon? From the vintage, the vintage book pages. They are just beautiful. These will be fantastic for collaging. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. I have got a really, really old edition of Winnie the Pooh. The papers are so fragile that if you're not careful, they will just break in your hands. Tanya, these are delightful. I'm so impressed. Ah, and a knitting pattern. And on the back, we've got some, <laughs> I love it, we've got some vintage recipes. Can you really stop the clock? I don't know, can you? Do you want to? These look, these, to be honest, this looks 70s to 80s for me, for sure. Ah, I like it. music sheets. Now this will look great. Absolutely. I love I love it when you can, there's actually lots of notes and like things going on on the page because when you tear it up to use in a collage sometimes you strike it unlucky and you just get like you know a few bars where nothing is happening so it's a little bit boring but these these are great. Well chosen Tanya, well chosen.
Venice Club are also used. Very nice. I like this a lot. Tanya, thank you very much for all my goodies. Um, I will link to Tanya um, to Tanya's Instagram feed. I'm not entirely sure if she has an Etsy shop. Um, I think I checked this morning, um, unless I completely missed it. Um, but she is very, very responsive on Instagram, and I'm really excited about about these foil negatives a lot. And I'm very grateful for all this gorgeous lace and trim. It is just stunning. I can't wait. Are they coffee dyed as well? And I can't actually wait to use them. Because, oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm planning to make some journals and stuff this weekend. So, so yeah. So this is deliciousness. I'll put this to the side. Um, something else that actually came in yesterday is, get ready for this, Christmas papers. Now these aren't new papers, um, this is last year's papers from um, Simple Stories, but I thought I would share these with you anyway. Let me just check to make sure that um, this is all, you know, in frame, because some of these images are slightly big and I don't want you to lose anything out. Let me just check. So we are in we are in frame. Sorry, I was just checking the name of the um, of the paper. So this is the 12 by 12. It is the simple stories um, simple vintage Christmas cards. And what I ended up doing actually is getting the a, a kit. So with the kit, I will explain to you how it came and I was absolutely thrilled because I've not ever actually bought a kit like this before. So, um, how stunning is that? The Santa, I actually have the Santa um, as a digital somewhere. And I'm actually thinking of, of doing some um, digital ATCs for Christmas because they're just really handy to um, pop into your journal. These cutter parts are so pretty. This Santa just looks slightly inebriated, you know, which is no, no bad thing during Christmas. The check patterns are really, really nice. Another cut apart. These are slightly smaller than I would say the um, like postcard size. So these are ideal if you're making Christmas cards, or they'll even work as tags. As there's, um, you know, on these ones there's space to write to and froms, and these are just really pretty decorative tags. Now, I really have a thing about stags and antlered creatures. Um, this is this is totally 100% up my street. And this is another cut apart. Some really, really good pieces here. I'm all about the trees, man. All about the trees. I realize it's August. I realize it's August, but you know what? It's never too early for Christmas. I love the holly and the berries and just the script. You know, this would make a really nice journal cover, front and back, because it will allow you to add like a little vintage label or something straight over there. I really like it. This check, it almost looks like a picnic, uh, a picnic blanket, doesn't it? I do like the, the slightly hidden 
the music notes and things at the back. That's very pretty. Onslaught of holly and berries. Ah, see, collaging is my jam. I really like this. This is really cool. Again, this will make a great journal cover. Maybe not actually the cover, but the inside of the cover. I like it. Yes, yes. Ideas are forming. This is cool. These vintage style adverts are just very cute. So, included in the pack, you get a 12 by 12 sheet of um, cardstock stickers. So they slightly, they slightly thicker than the usual uh, style stickers. So with with the kit, with this kit, I got. Eight sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided double designer cardstock. Four sheets of double-sided signature um, stickers. Bits and pieces stickers. This is the bits and pieces stickers which I've not actually taken out. So I can definitely do that. I got some washi tape, which is lovely. I'll do a, um, a picture of, of that. And then these, which is the chipboard stickers. And I'm hoping that the camera isn't doing too much of the reflections there. But these are really, really nice. Really good quality cardstock. And the little... Uh, wreath that was up here has actually fallen down so it's over there so for for all all of this i ended up paying i think 21 pounds um which i don't think is is too terrible um at all to be honest um this specifically i got through from bebob crafting um is one of the the local UK shops here that I tend to buy from um, and I like that they've actually separated things out like Christmas and Halloween so if you are looking for something specific you can just pop along and get it from there so something else that I got <laughs> this week is more Stamperia paper and my friends I am blown away by these designs. Honestly, they are they are so gorgeous. Even though I know I'm going to use these pages, I just feel that I shouldn't and I should just keep them safe and not use them and hold them and touch them and stroke them. But I won't. Um, I'll definitely use them. Again, let me just make sure we're in shot um, and then I'll come back and do a flip through of the Stamperia, the Alchemy scrapbooking papers. Okay, we're back. We're looking at the Stamperia Alchemy scrapbooking papers. Um, and as usual with Stamperia, you get uh, two extra pages, which um, is really cool. Um, there's only 10 of the extra pages. I suppose there's 12, but here we go. On the inside of the front cover, you've got this wonderful text. These journaling cards just break my brain. They are so beautiful. And then on the back, you've obviously got these. So you can literally use them for journaling. I love that this actually works whichever way you want to put it. It's obviously there's text all the way around. But again, this is just you could even just frame this to be honest. It is just that that lovely. 
and then on the back we've got we've got this these colors are just stunning literally my dream this rust look with the blue in the background scrumminess the thing is with this pack <laughs> you will probably have to have I don't know two two packs purely because one to use and one to keep and you know just touch <laughs> these smaller cards that you can cut out are equally lovely I was actually looking at these and I was thinking you know what apart from where it says alchemy these are actually really interesting prompts to use in your journal you know so for different weeks or when you get stuck I really think this is a really nice very powerful uh, images and that you know to to kind of use for your journaling these scroll work and then what I like is just the faint coffee stain on the back to be honest as gorgeous as this is this is probably one of my least favorite pages um, it doesn't quite work for me but I know others would absolutely love it um, basically I, I don't know why it doesn't work for me possibly because I would have wanted that as an image by itself that as an image by itself and then on the back you've got this like medieval style text all about alchemy which I think is really nice I love you know all the sun and moon phases of this, the moon over here This is a repeat of the um, that's in the front page. The cute little collages. Again, doesn't really match very well with the alchemy theme. I mean, we've seen we've seen these used before in the Tom Holtz papers. You know, so it is um, free free to use out there somewhere. Free free copyright items to use <laughs> um, absolutely lovely images here also with the, the script and the font these tags are lovely again just great to use in your journal part of your your happy mail Sorry, that's my husband heading off for a walk. Um, this blue is everything. This, these would make, if I wasn't going to be using these, which I would, these would make fantastic end papers in a journal. Fantastic. I love it. Who doesn't love a bit of collaging numbers? I do. Um, I just like it. I just like it. It's very reminiscent of the um, children's number blocks I remember from growing up. Obviously without the moons and the astrological bits and pieces. This is very cool. And it kind of messes with your eyes a little bit also, making you think that, you know, the lines are not straight but they are, I think. Are they? <laughs> Who knows? And can we just take a minute and talk about these? Because wow, absolutely wow, I am in love. I will need another set of this, I think, definitely. I always think that I should email Stamperian and tell them that they should look into making um. 
tarot cards <laughs> uh, because the images and things that they use and, and I get you know I just kind of feel that they they, they get the, the esoteric thing really well and um, these are gorgeous so these are obviously these this is really nice so you can actually use them for journaling space which is great and these you can use punch a hole through there and basically they can be bookmarks I like it with this you can just probably do glossy accents if you've got something that you can mount them on that's that's an idea right there and then this is the final page in the back on the back sheet, which is this. So yeah, some lovely things. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for joining me on this um, What Liz Bought Next a trip. Um, I hope you liked everything. I will link to tra um, Tanya's shop and I will link to uh, Bebop Crafting um, and a few of the other places that I tend to get my goodies from. So thank you very much for joining me. Remember if you like, tick the thumbs up button and, and subscribe if you've not subscribed before. Um, and I'm looking forward to popping back next week and chatting to all of you. Thank you. Bye.